right, Tauruses. Uh, happy birthday to you, Tauruses. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful live shares and support. Tauruses, you have come to the end of your season. This is the last week um, for your season for 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Please remember to like and share, share, share these videos. What a year, what a year, what a year. So in this year, Taurus, is, there is a lot that is going to be coming out. And your foundation is that someone tried to get away with a situation. And I see they came up on this person. Whoever this person is, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with the situation where we see the Seven of Swords. And uh, um, a lot of you are dealing with a um, corrupt civil servant. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a corrupt civil servant. Whoever this corrupt civil servant is, I see truths are coming out about this corrupt civil servant. This is really a corrupt civil servant. So a lot of you Tauruses are going to be dealing with a corrupt civil servant. So what is in, um, th this is about uh, uh, some sort of a divorce that some of you um, could be dealing with and you're going to be recognizing that this divorce carry out a very corrupt person information is going to be coming out about a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person a pisces cancer a scorpion person and people are going to be standing their ground and protecting this young person from an ordeal that has transpired so a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of a corrupt civil servant and you're going to be finding out how corrupt the civil servant is so so it is a year. Wow. You're standing your ground and protecting yourself. A lot of you um, are standing your ground and protecting yourself. I see some sort of information came out about a couple and I see justice came up. A lot of you are going to be dealing with Aquarian, Gemini or Libra people. I see that you're dealing with an Aquarian. Um, this is definitely a civil servant and they're going to be recognizing that this civil servant um, it could be an Aquarian Gemini or Libra woman or an Aquarian Gemini or Libra man has created a whole lot of problems. It could be a lawyer, but it's coming up as uh, um, someone in the eye professional that has created a whole lot of problems. And they now recognize the deceptiveness of this person. A lot of you are trying to find your strength to deal with this situation. I see you businessmen are standing your grounds. And uh, is trying to resolve a situation because a, cor a corrupt civil servants have created some sort of a problem. Okay, let's look at the people who were born um, on the 17th of uh, um, May. So on the 17th of May, you're going to be dealing with your mother. And uh, um, not only with your mother, but you're going to be dealing with... Uh, um, your wife, your wife and your mother is, uh, uh, some of you is your wife, some of you is your mother. And some sort of information about your mother is going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing um, some information that you were not aware about your mom. So this is um, a, a good year. Um, this is also a year of a whole lot of financial abundances. A creative year is a year, is a yes, go for it, whatever you decide. To do in this year, it is going to be a yes, okay? A lot of you are going to be really standing your ground in this year. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you're going to be standing your ground about some sort of a undesirable civil servants that create a whole lot of problems and issue. So let's see what is the third energy. I see they recognize a whole lot of information about a uh, Sagittarian woman. Whoever the Sagittarian woman is, I see they now recognize that a Sagittarian woman was pretending uh, to be some of you mothers or pretending to be some of you um, um, grandmother or whatever. And they recognize that the Sagittarian woman has access data and information for your mother, your grandmother, or that sort of a thing. People are recognizing the foul play of a Sagittarian woman and a whole lot of information came out about the Sagittarian woman and I see an end is coming up for the Sagittarian woman. So, um, you know, thank God that uh, it's going to be a year that a whole lot of information because people have been creating a whole lot of issues. 
And whoever the Sagittarian woman is, they're going to be recognizing that this woman could have been connected to your mother in some sort of a way. Or this woman was a friend of your mother, whoever this person is, and is coming up for this person because a whole lot of data and information is going to be coming out in this year about this woman. So it could be your mom, sister, or um, it could be a mom friend or something like that. But I see this is coming out. They're going to be recognizing that this Sagittarian woman have been trying to steal from you for a very long time. So it is a year where this is going to be coming out. And this is a powerful year because you have um, the eight of ones and a whole lot of business. If you're a business person, this year is going to be good. So congratulations. Let's look at the people who are born under 18. You have the energy of the star. You're overcoming a young um, Pisces Cancer a Scorpion person that was creating a whole lot of issues for you guys. So you successfully overcoming this person and recognize the horrible, horrible situation that this person have created. Some people have recognized and got some sort of a data over a, a young Pisces Cancer a Scorpion person and they now recognize what this person have created. And I see um, a Libran man, they, you successfully overcome a Libra man because a libra man was connected to the sagittarian people person some of you was not aware that a libra man was connected to a sagittarian person i see a end uh, some of you have a child or a friend or a partner an end is coming in for this person because people now recognize what this person have done so this year is a year of success the energy of the star success for a lot of you tauruses that was dealing with a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. They recognize who this person is and what this person have done. They have recognized the horrible, the um, horrible deceptiveness. And a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Libran man. If uh, um, you are married to a Libran man, or I see some of you could be meeting a Libran man, or this could be your father. And I see a lot of you are showing love and affection to this person. The energy of the star is about really positive energy is going to be transpiring. It's about things are going to be healed. If some of you had some sort of a problems with your kids and that sort of a thing, it's coming now to an end. And I see a resolution and a lot of you are going to be thinking to relocate for whatever the reason is. Um, I see that um, some of you are going to be decided to take your family and relocate to another place because you recognize that, that with some sort of an information data that came out um, that a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion was a person that has been creating and they have caught this person. They have definitely caught this person and it's going to be, you, this is a year where a lot of you are going to be healing a lot of problems that was created by a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. So it is a powerful year for a lot of you. You have the energy of the star that is 17 and 8 and you have 6 and end is here for a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. They recognize what this person have done. And I see some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in for a whole lot of you because they recognize some sort of a on, um, on acceptable situation that was created. People are now recognizing that a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person was the one that has created this problem. We are looking, moving on and looking at the people who were um, born on uh, the 19th, 19th. It is good. Um, you have the energy of number eight. You have four and you have seven, eight, four and seven. And this can be a lucky number if it is in your feel of lucky number. But you're, you're, you know, it is a year that is going to be a, a year of finding inner strength to endure a deceptive um, situation that is going to be happening to a lot of you. And it's going to be a year where you're trying to endure um, a whole lot of instability, a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of instability and problems. Uh, and you're now recognizing what was taking place. Uh, and you're going to be having the inner strength to do this. So some of you could have had a, a child with a Aries Lee or a Sagittarian woman, whoever this woman is. I see that there is some sort of a problem. A lot of you could have having some sort of a problem with your child's mother in this year and a whole lot of legal issues, a whole lot of problems. And I see a lot of you are going to be standing your ground, standing your ground because you recognize that if you don't do that, this woman would have gone 
over their boundaries and have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues for you. And as you stand your ground, you are now recognizing and is ending and bringing back uh, some sort of a stability because a lot of you are going to be having to deal with some sort of a dishonesty and they're going to be recognizing dishonesty with a Libran, whoever this Libran is and whatever that's transpiring. I see this Libran is trying to find inner strength because they have called this Libran and realized that this Libran was very, very dishonest and have created a whole lot of issues. And you Tauruses are going to be overcoming um, this in this year. So you, you know, the energies that is in this year, they have caught a Libran woman. Whoever this Libran woman, they recognize that this Libran woman have created a whole lot of deceptiveness. Is this your wife? Is this your wife, Taurus? Is this your mother? Whoever this Libran woman is, they recognize the horrible deceptive play of this Libran woman and what this Libran woman have done. And that this Libran woman tried to steal and have created a whole lot of horrible um, issues for you so expect this to come up in this world but you're going to be finding out maybe it's your mom maybe it's um, um a friend maybe it's your wife and you are going to be dealing with a lot of issue with this liberal woman whoever this person is a liberal and an aquarian they are going to be recognizing that a liberal woman have created a deceptive um situation and they recognize that also a liberal and this lib this a Libran and Aquarian, you guys are going to be having some huge problem with a Libran and an Aquarian because they recognize what these people have done. All right. Then we're moving forward and we are looking um, at the people who were born on the 20th. And this is the last for you guys. Um, the 20th. Um, this is the last for you Tauruses. Um, so on the 20th, um, you guys, you Tauruses are dealing with relationship issues and relationship issues, marriage issues, uh, problems with marriage relationships. So you have six, you have seven, six and a seven. And it's about um, a new contract, marriages, relationship, that sort of a situation. A lot of you and you're standing your ground to protect your family and trying to work on your marriage um, some of you could be um, divorcing and going through a whole lot of legal issues. This is going to be coming up and transpiring. People are going to be recognizing what is going on. So I see you stand your ground, protect yourself, and some sort of a new opportunity is going to be coming in. So you end this story season on a very, very positive note, an extremely positive note. And this is going to be wonderful and positive. So congratulations to you, Taurus. So you Taurus is, um, is going to be dealing with your wives, your kids, your partners. That is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Um, I see a whole lot of information is going to be um, coming in and some sort of a healing is going to be um, balancing out a whole lot of problems that a lot of you have been having. And I see a lot of you standing your ground so, and bringing an end to a TEF that was created. This is definitely a TEF. Some, and the TEF was created by a, a, um, a Libran and an Aquarian and they are now ending what this Libran and Aquarian have done. I end is coming up for an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian woman. And I see a lot of you Taurus women are going to be protecting your families um, from this um, uh, Sagittarian woman and a Aquarian woman and a Libran woman because you recognize what these people have done and how these people are going to be creating chaos in your world this year. And you have enough information now and it's not too late to order I love reading in order to get uh, um, get um, um, the correct guidance uh, in each and every month as to what is going to happen. These are general readings. When you order your own love reading, your home birthday reading, you will um, receive the message that is going to be happening to you each and every month. Okay. All right. So, um. Uh, congratulations, Tauruses. And then we are looking at the energies for um, the um, Geminis. Congratulations. Happy birthday, Geminis. So Geminis that was born on the 21st, you are dealing with some sort of an Autarian figure. 
um, and you're standing your ground because you, Gemini, recognize that there was a huge step that was created. And this huge step was created and have an effect on some of you, a huge step of a whole lot of money. And uh, you, Geminis, are going to be recognizing what has happened and what has transpired and how a family have worked against you, Gemini. And I see your family is going to be supporting you, Gemini, and helping you, Gemini, out of whatever problem. Because you recognize that a Leo family have stolen and have created a whole lot of problems. I see a lot of you um, men could be, a new child could be entering your life. A new love is going to be coming up for a lot of you, Gemini. So I see you, Gemini, men and women expect yeah, new love to come in. You, Gemini, men and women are going to be standing your ground against an Aquarian person and what an Aquarian person have done and you're going to be very 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 successful so congratulations some sort of a secrecy about an Aquarian woman is going to be coming out people are going to be recognizing what an Aquarian woman have done it could have been a lawyer and a very um incredible um corrupt lawyer and they're going to be recognizing what this person have done Alrighty, let's look at the Geminis that was born on the 22nd. Geminis that was born on the 22nd, I see you're balancing out some sort of an issue. Both men and women are balancing out some sort of an issue and is working on themselves. They are going to, you guys are going to be learning self-love and that is going to be good. And with the energy of self-love, I see um, women and men, this is going to be a financial year for you guys. Um, you can see the balance and you're balancing out issues and making sure and creating financial stability for your kids in the future. So Gemini, men and women, that is going to 22nd. You are going to be so powerful. A powerful year is coming up and you guys are going to be ex um, really doing well in this year. So congratulations. Expect new love to come in. Expect an, um, a new baby and a, um, expect um, a new grandchild to come in your life. So they're going to be recognizing um, that there was some sort of a huge step of a whole lot of money. And um, you Geminis are, um, could be the one that was is going to be finding out that a huge step of money, um, um, someone had um, steal a, a whole lot of money. It could be your partner has stolen a whole lot of money. You're going to be very surprising at this. And uh, um, you're going to be so um, blown out of the water that this person could have done this to you. Okay, so we see... Balance number 14, five changes is going to be coming up for your family. And I see a lot of you are going to be protecting your child. I see a lot of you are going to be up to paying a whole lot of money to a child's mother. And, you know, the thing about it is that you already have this child. So it is what it is. You have twice the energy of 14 and 14 is five. So expect changes with your materialistic stability is going to be coming up for you guys. So, all right, let's look at the people who were born on the 23rd of May. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Um, again, this card comes up in reverse. So work is going to be good and there is going to be family issues because you're going to be recognizing that there has been some sort of a tiff from your family. They're going to be recognizing that um, your partner or lover could have created a huge tiff. And this is going to be very surprising to you. I see you're going to be working together with your family in order to balance and bring some sort of a balance back in your world. And it's going to be understanding. I see work. You're going to be very successful at work. And whatever the issues with family is, you're going to be recognizing you know, how a family has worked against you, Gemini's. But yet still, you're going to be a fully successfully and having your head and good on at work and recognizing that, you know, your family has fall apart. The elements of uh, your marriage, your relationship has fall apart, but yet still you have your job. And that is the most important thing. So I think, you know, Gemini's is going to be a thing that, okay, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, I had expect more. This is not what has transpired, but yet uh, it is what it is. Let it be. I am good and you are going to be very, very successful at work and you're going to be 
overcoming the problems uh, that a family have created for you. So um, it's not a really happy family. Um, you're not really happy in your relationship, your marriage, but you're going to be successfully overcoming this. Um, I see now that you're going to be recognizing that, you know, you make some sort of a decision with a family member or took someone in your life that was not the right person for you. And it's as if now you're being confrontated with this and recognizing that, you know, you should have listened to other people because now you're recognizing that this family has created so much imbalance in your world that you... Um, some of you are going to be stepping back from relationships for a while um, because you recognize that uh, whoever, um, people are not going in the relationship for the right reasons. People are just not going in relationships for the right reason. Um, people are going in relationships because uh, um, they are looking for uh, financial stability and not for love. It's not about love anymore for people. It is more about... Uh, trying to see what they can get. So a lot of you, Gemini, um, I see you have gone through a couple bad years and now, especially for you um, that is born on the 23rd of uh, uh, May, you are going to be now recognizing um, that, you know, you're going to be successful even with the obstacles and the situation that was creating in your world. You are definitely, definitely going to be um, really, really um, successful in your endeavor. So again, congratulations. This looks like a wonderful year. Remember Tauruses um, and Gemini, you are cops people, okay? Tauruses and Gemini, you are cops people. So if you get in a relationship um, with someone that was born of the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, it is okay. You can go with a Gemini, Taurus, Taurus can go with a Gemini. Only you guys that is five days before and five days behind. That means that you have um, the uh, Venus and Mercury in your birth chart and you can co-inhabitant with each other. I do love you guys. I gotta go, but I'm saying namaste until next time.